Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. I am Ankit. So in this session, we will discuss uh, what is the project structure of Next.js application. So whenever we have uh, created any application uh, using the Next.js package, so what will be the project structure? What uh, actually, what are the different kinds of folder will be created? What is the use of that particular folder? and uh, that containing particular files and uh, which are the files uh, that uh, will be creating on on the creation command of next.js so uh, first uh, we will create a simple application like uh, we did in the previous uh, uh, video session so we do it uh, quickly so uh, we will open the git bash command prompt here and uh, we will cre create npx uh, we will give the npx command npx create next step like in react we do the command create react app here we will give nap uh, we want to use the latest uh, next js version so we have to give the latest keyword as well or if you want to give the application name you can you can give the application name next js and you can enter okay so here uh, it will it uh, will ask you um, some configuration instruction for your Next.js application. The first one is, would you like to use uh, the TypeScript? So by default, it gives the no, because I have created multi-application and I have created the application previously using the TypeScript. Uh, it, so that's why it is uh, displaying the yes option here. But by default, it gives the no then if you want to configure the eslint if you if you want that uh, eslint configure your application then we can use it otherwise we we can ignore it if you want to use uh, tilewind css you can choose option yes otherwise no if you want uh, to define the src directory you can you can give the yes so uh, so that is the default option for eslint no uh, tilewind css no and src is yes so first i will create or i uh, i will go with the default command so i will show you uh, what is what will be the structure with uh, default options so src directory yes so that will be the default option so you want to app router yes we will go with the app router as well right this is the also default option would you like to customize the default no so uh, so first it will install the dependencies of react react dom and next in the create react app we just install react and uh, react dom now here it will install the next also so we we saw that the in react js we can create only the ui part or view part of the uh, model view controller part but here it is a framework so we can create a full stack application here So we can now we can close it and uh, we uh, will open our project in open with code. <clears throat> so first of all, you can see the structure of the Next.js. So here, so f first one is node uh, module which contains all the dependency, uh, uh, which. Uh, installed using the npm install command public folder which contain the svg files only uh, so whenever you run your application your application will serve from public folder that will generate runtime 
NSRC folder will contains uh, your project file which you want to you define or develop so here uh, in SRC that with the top level folder which will contain the app router app router means application routing uh, so you define the multiple levels of your website pages you can define in the app so uh, this is the icon file globals.css it contains the global css file css things and layout.js you find the application glow application layout means global layout for your application page dot a simple a page that uh, you want to display uh, by default uh, this is the page module.css which is a module css file that is uh, made for the paid page page.css so basically whenever we run it uh, it will display this page.css file okay uh, then again the git ignore that contains a particular folder or files that you want to ignore jsconfig.json means uh, the javascript configuration file for your project next conf config that is uh, next js configuration file package log json dependency defined after the npm install of package dot inside the package dot json you have defined here it contains uh, you can see the dependency for react 18 version install uh, react dom 18 and next 14.1 here you have defined the dev uh, and build command start command and lint command right so that has been if you want to run your application you can give simply npm run dev So yeah, you can see that they give the uh, it calls the dev inside dev it is calling the next step here you can see so in the local loss 3000 uh, we can see here local host So here you can see that the application is running now. This is the first page uh, that run that is page.js. If you defined anything here, it will display. Welcome guest. So here you can see that here define the welcome guest. So this is the application. So here the different way I want to show you uh, the different structure. Hmm. So now I will again open the git bash here now i will create uh, the application with uh, different configuration so here we'll give again the command create next app at the rate latest next js app press enter so we will not use the typescript we will only use the javascript we will uh, use the eslint uh, we will not use the tailwind css okay we will not use the src and uh, we will not use the app router okay
now application has been created now we will open it uh, side the code vs code so uh, i will give you comparison So here you can see the what is the differences here we have uh, the SRC folder uh, and, and uh, app folder here directly we have the uh, pages folder inside the pages we have all the things we have the layout.js file here uh, so uh, this is the file actually if we delete this file automatically it will be created uh, whenever we run the command npm run dev uh, here you can define the layout file that when next one is uh, index.js index.js file is similar to the page.js file here you can see here and here it is a file for the document.js uh, that will be the extra file that is the app.js file that define the application configuration or global configuration of your pages uh, uh, otherwise the other thing like we have a global.css here and uh, here in under the style we have a global.css as well and here it is the home.module.css here it is page.module.css so you can see the application is uh, the same only the folder structure is different here is defined the hello.js file also containing a api root uh, support file is there also and otherwise all the things uh, we uh, we defined the eslint y so it it created the eslint as uh, lint rc.json file in which uh, we uh, define the all eslint configuration information here so uh, uh, that is the if you want to run this application uh, So uh, main portion that the in starting I recommended you use to go with the default options, right? Uh, after that, uh, whatever you want to do with your application configuration, you can change it and uh, you can also uh, manually configure your Next.js application. In the React tutorial, I also uh, created the application using the create react app and uh, the next session i demonstrate how we can create the react application from scratch without using the uh, react create react command means means uh, we have to create uh, application from zero file So, in the next session, I will demonstrate uh, you uh, from which command uh, we can create a manually. It means it is the um, automatic installation. Automatic installation. Right. Uh, so, next session, we will do it manually it means we have to configure your project one by one and uh, you you see that the multiple files has been automatically created with using create uh, next uh, app command but uh, all these files we we create manually so you can see that the same 
application so so basically a top level folder there are two top level folder that is uh, app pages and public uh, first one if you use the src folder so inside the srp you can define the app folder app folder basically application configuration files contains uh, the layout.jsx or the other for the uh, other naming convention and the pages folder for page page routes so you can define the multiple pages of your website and public folder is optional uh, because uh, that is runtime generated file whenever you define npm run build or npm run dev though automatically pages uh, uh, generated code uh, will go inside there and when when vm we do do uh, we do the npm run build all the application contained will serve from public folder so top level folder uh, app app routing contains uh, pages contains page routing information and public static uh, asset to be served src optional folder uh, application source file so i demonstrate to you you can create uh, the src otherwise you don't define you uh, you define just no and top level files uh, these are the files uh, means the maximum files that uh, we can create in our application we can create more further but that is the main file the next dot configuration dot js uh, that basically contains a configuration for your next js package.json you you already know that uh, in which we define the project dependencies and different scripts instrumentation.ts which contains the open telemetry and instrumentation details middleware.ts in which we define the middleware which you want to uh, use inside the next.js application.env which contains the environment variables right which you can use in the separate separate environment file environment and uh, env.local uh, that is basically a local environment variable file in which uh, you want only uh, use in your local local uh, system env.production uh, environment variable that you want to put on your production uh, env.development uh, the environment variable which you want to use in development mode uh, yes yes lint asi.json i showed you if you uh, press yes so it will create this file and it will contains the configuration details for eslint git ignore if you want to ignore the git files and folders so you can define it here next.env.d.ts which contains the type script declaration for next year so in the next session we will create application using the type script in which you will see this file because we have created by default using the javascript so that's why it, this file not created tsconfig.json basically type script configuration defined here jsconfig.json configuration file for javascript so here uh, you you see here that uh, we have defined the js configuration because uh, we we are using by default javascript that's why here whenever we use the typescript the uh, instead of creation of js config uh, ts config dot json will be generated so that's is the um, uh, that was the entire project structure of next js application uh, so whenever you give uh, create your application using the create next uh, uh, app command uh, so the following top level folders and files will be created so that's it for this video uh, if you want to like this video you want to know more for the next next js video notification please subscribe to your and subscribe my channel and give me motivation by your thumb up
thumbs up and uh, sub subscribe my channel so that uh, the av every new video notification will get to you and uh, share share my channel to in your group circles right so uh, that's it for this video we will meet in the next video jain the